Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Sorry about that. Can we get some F5s in the chat? The stream is back. I do apologize there. We had some um, technical issues. Good old aim practice card just dying on me there. But don't worry, that'll be all sorted soon. But anyway, we are two rounds into this sprout. Managing to get the first two rounds in this game so far. Obviously, LDLC losing that pistol. Round. But I am your caster, it's Sassy Mate. And yeah, good, good evening, gamers. And for me, it's good morning. It's 4.46 here in Australia at the moment. But well, we are going to be seeing this third round underway here as we do see Mervit. Making his way into the apartments. Nice flash there, taking down XMS. So that's a good start for the round for him. Also, got banana control in the side of the Germans. But let's see if LDLC will be able to do anything this round. I mean, they've only got the pistols, they've got the P250 on Tony. Obviously a smoke on him as well. And Murder able to farm some more cash with that with that SMG. And the A bomb site is still in there. So they're gonna go get that bomb, they're gonna rotate there and you know LDLC gambling a little bit here. We've gotta see if they get lucky with this stack, but they're not gonna be able to find anything, I mean they they might they might go to save the Deagles, but that's probably about it. But yeah, good start for LDLC, you know, starting on the T side. It's obviously important to win that pistol round and get the following rounds after that. But Mervit is hungry, he's hungry for more, he's gonna get another one. Gets a 4 for he be able to get the MAC-10 ace, ladies and gentlemen. Let's find out, last man in the new box, and he's done it! Mervit, starting off with an ace for that MAC-10. So a good start for them. Is is everything all G? Is everything is everything working? Just gonna gonna make sure everything's all good. But we are going to be heading into the fourth round of this game. Finally, a buy coming out from the side of LDLC. But we're gonna see some fast banana control coming out from the T's, but it's gonna get punished. Never do it. Finding the first kill there, Logan following the two of his own. And Dennis is able to trade back for one, but 2v4 situation, it's not looking too good for the T side. And that's one name that I'm going to butcher the whole time. Devo Duvek. I do apologize. Fathom, last man alive, and he goes down. And that is going to be the first round to, to LDLC. A good start from them. You know, getting the guns on the board, finding that first round, and let's see how they are gonna build off this, or if Sprout are gonna be able to fight back into this one. But again, we are going to see that banana control coming out from the Z's, and it looks like they're gonna be pretty successful in getting it. The T, the CT is not really challenging for it so far. But yeah, so pretty much just a standard default happening so far. We do see the Molotov going for that boost position. But they are going to make their way out. Boiler, but Deva Duvet winning that fight against Dennis. So good starts to the round for LDLC. But they're slowly running out of utility like Sprout. They've done a good job in baiting it out. Yes, they've lost a man for it, but it looks like they are going to be hitting this B-bomb site. As the nades do start coming in, Logan with the Molotov, that's going to slow them down quite a bit there. And that's going to allow his teammate to be able to rotate in there as well. But now that creeping up mid here does find one. Now will he be able to find the man in library? Yes he does and he completely opens up this round. His team doubling back straight away as Favin actually finds one towards B. Finds two towards B. 
And this round has completely turned on its head. Like just 20 seconds ago. 20 seconds ago, we were thinking, you know, they're taking a while. That Molotov was perfect from Logan, allowing the rotation in. And all of a sudden, Mervit able to just completely open up that round. But what a good start from them. I mean, four on the board, on the tees up we at. Duffy and Negev. We see Negev coming into this mag. Seven as well. Alright, people are saying no sound, so I'm, I'm going to do this. Alright, that better be better. I'll turn, I'll turn it off if I have to, but Mervit opening things up again with that MAC-10. Currently sitting at the top of the scoreboard, 12, 2 and 2. Okay, so that is, um, someone that doesn't have their speakers on, but Mervit managing to find another kill with that MAC-10. Dennis does go down to the CZ, but Sires, Sirizen, Sirizen, is able to find one back, but now we do find ourselves in the 2v2 scenario, and look at this, Matt Hand on the flank there, can't quite finish off the frag, and Logan is able to actually get taken down by Murbit as well, and the bomb does go down, 2v1 situation, I mean, it is possible, he does have the AK-47. Got the armor behind it as well. No utility though. And it is going to be size and watching that angle. Can't quite finish off that frag. But I mean his teammate is just waiting there in graveyard. But he actually manages to win out that fight. But with this bomb ticking, surely he doesn't have enough time. But he does get the kill. And he's going to be able to get that defuse. And Beautiful work coming out from him. And we're going to see a second round on the board. I mean, I'm just surprised that even worked. Like, he didn't have a kit, no utility, and managing to change both of those fights into 1v1 duels. And I feel like LDLC just really, really messed up there. We are going to be having a pause here. Maybe a... I reckon it's a tactical pause. I mean, you shouldn't be losing rounds like that. I mean, I, I mean, when you consider what they went into that round with, though, I mean, they shouldn't have really had a chance. But, I mean, you know, they, they did get close there. They got very, very close. And when you get in that situation, you know, sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah, while we have a pause here, um, I'll give you some, some context, because, I mean, most of you probably have never heard of me, but my name is Sassy, or Jacob Wolverton, whatever you want to call me. I go by It's Sassy, mate, on pretty much anything, but I am an Australian caster, and I've mainly casted ECA, MDL, like the Australian, Australian League of this. And then, you know, a few international events every now and then. I've done the Toyota Masters Bangkok event, which was, was pretty fun. And then, I've done a bit of analyst work as well for the grand final between Chiefs and Graham. I did, like, the IESF World Championships for that. I mean, I don't, that wasn't really that relevant, but I'm fa fairly, fairly new to the game, but, you know good start somewhere am I right but it's it's a pleasure to be able to have this opportunity and I hope you guys are enjoying these games as much as I am because I mean it was worth staying up this late for these games they're pretty good not gonna lie but anyhow we are finally going to be getting back into the action, ladies and gentlemen. As 
we're going to be seeing the bot coming out of our DLC. We do see one MP9, one Famath. And one thing to note as well, like that they have to go for the head armor now because Murder, you know, he's gonna continue running that Mac 10 because it's working. And anyway, Devil do work. Actually manages to find two for X, takes down Dennis and Favin, so that's a good way to start off the round. And definitely a good way to get from that pause. I think it would have been technical, it was pretty pretty long in the end, but anyway. We're gonna be seeing the T's making their way towards the banana position. And let's see how they're gonna attack this. There's only two men on the site here. Logan and Matt Hand. Now the smoke going in. That should slow them down for quite a bit here. But let's let's, let's see what they're gonna do here. I mean, we do see Tonu, you know, he's getting a lot of information for his team, and this should be able to allow the rotations, but they're not quite coming yet, like, they're going to be coming, but they're going to be really, really slow, Matt Hens, Logan, they need to step up here, Matt Hens does find the first wreck, so good work from him, finds the second one as well, Sirs, and able to find one back, but with this flank coming in, there is no chance at all. And that round is going to be shut down. And we're going to be seeing a third round on the board for LDLC. They're going to be able to pick up that AWP as well. And two for the price of one. They're going to be able to start building up that economy. I mean, it's not looking too great so far. But assuming they get this one. But, I mean, we have seen the MAC-10 to be pretty successful. Mervit going to miss out on it this round. But we do see three of them as they do make their way up Banana. Where Logan is waiting for them, finds the first, legs the second, but Matt Hens is able to follow up. Look at this, building so much cash. Found three kills of that MP9 there. Merba able to trade one back, and he's got to pick up the Mac 10, you know, his favourite gun here. We did see him get an ace not that long ago with this gun, so let's see if he's going to be able to do that again. Because if he can... That would be something spectacular, but who oh, he thinks about the AK-47, I mean, it's actually a Galil. So, you know, we'll, we'll pretend it's an AK. He can use it like an AK. I mean, they do have the head armor, so... You know, he's just trying to, trying to see if any of these CTs will get impatient, get over-aggressive here, get over-zealous, but XMS is going to come in. And he's going to deny that bomb plant, and that is going to be a fourth round on the board for LDLC. They're off to... You know, they started off a bit slow, but they're starting to get back into this. They're starting to get a bit of control. And... Let's just hope that they can get up, build up that economy, but they're finally going to get a bit of a... Bit of a freebie run. I mean... They've got the deagles. You never know what they're going to be able to do with it, but one thing we have to point out so far is Merbit. 15 and 5 on the scoreboard at the moment, completely. He's doing a lot of work. Spitty able to find one opening there onto Tony. And Zebra does take a duel there with Merbit, but Merbit is going to fall there, but Serzin able to find another one. And now, I mean, they're not going to win this round, surely. I mean, you never know. But. Actually, he might be able to get the bomb down, and this makes it a bit questionable, especially when Spitty is able to pick up that AWP and Serzin finding another frag. And this is going to allow the bomb to come across. You can go down if it needs. It's going to get the bomb down, get the bomb money. But Spitty, will he be able to clutch this one out? I mean, it is possible. But almost dying to the flames there. Needs to hit this first shot because there's a flank coming straight from the apps now. He needs to hit it and he does! What the hell? <laughs> Spitty! That was... That was something. I mean, when you consider the situation in that round, like... And I said that they wouldn't have a chance in that round, but... I'd bite my words straight back. Maybe the caster's curse is real. Maybe I can use it to see some sick-ass plates. But anyway. 
that is going to compl not completely, they're still able to get a bit of a buy here, but their LDLC's economy is not looking good, but that boost from Logan does get one, but Favin and Dennis able to trade back here, and Surzen with that AWP again doing some work, but Tonu is able to drop one gun there. Still got his AWP in hand as well as one is wrapping from Archers. Oh, he hits the shot, but he's not going to get the kill there. His teammate able to follow up there. Now there's just a man in the apartment. Merbit, got to get Molotov off there. So if he was going for any shenanigans with that MAC-10, he's not going to be able to now. But it's just one man on the site. Favin, he's gotten the bomb down. And he only has to deal with Matt Hend with this AWP at the moment as his teammate is getting ready to join with him and surely this round is done. Tonu got to be saving that AWP and Sprout, they're going to be getting a sixth round on the T side here. Wait, do I not have anti aliasing on? I need, I need, I need, I need to make a um, config. We'll just go. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll work it out later. I'm new to production. Never done it before. So I've got no idea. I can, I can probably up the settings, but. Anyway, we are going to be getting into the next round of this game, ladies and gentlemen. Tonu able to save that orp into the next round, which, you know, if, if, if they're going to win it, you know, we're going to have to see something coming out of him. But he is going to be left solo towards his V-bomb side at the moment. But anyway, we do see them making their way up mid here. Dennis going down to Devon Duvek. And it's a good start. He's going to be able to maybe retrieve the rifle, but Spitty is there to deny that. And now the T's, they're going to be back in control of this round. But they're going into the stack. I mean, Logan, I mean, if he's hitting shots like that and Matt Hend is getting kills like that, then this round is possible. Logan! Nice digs coming out from him, but Merbit. Does mop up two there, and now he's left in a 1v2. One of these men is low. He's up against two AWPs here, but they're both with the bomb at the moment. So this is very possible. Matt Hend opting to swap out to the AK-47. But this is possible. This is possible, but he's got to get punished straight away. And we're going to see another round on the board. But anyway, we are heading into the next round, ladies and gentlemen. Nice frag from Merville onto the chicken. Making some quick work as Matt Hen does get a frag in the banana here. So good way to open up that round. And is the auto director just gonna follow Merbit the whole time? Let's 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 fix that. But anyway. Oh yeah, I do apologize, I've got a four by three monitor, it's literally not possible for me to even choose ten eighty P. So I I'm, I'm I'm gonna upgrade everything like my computer's capable of it. My internet's capable of it. But fucking hell, let's, let's get into the next one. Logan, Zephyrag, Merbit, all finding for eggs there. And now we do find ourselves in the 2v3 situation. Double AWP here. And... You know, honestly, Sprout. I mean, six rounds on the board on the T side of Inferno. That, that's a good start to the game. And we... Do, this is confusing. Like they're going for the wrap. There's one man here on the site, and that is Logan. He's gonna have a one v one with Surzen. You know, he's obviously got the AWP, but if he misses his shot, 
he pretty much loses the round, but Serzin, gotta be, gotta be smart about this, he's gotta wait for Merba on the flank here, but Logan is aware of this, he knows this is a prospect, but he's gotta whip his shot, he eventually hits the next one, and it's just Serzin, he whips out the knife, and he gets the no scope there, Serzin, not able to find it, and that is gonna be another round. But anyway, what a solid round. I mean, LDLC really need that one. They're going to get a bit of a bit of a break. They've earned this one. Got to go up against the Pistons now. There is a pause. I've got no idea who did it. But you know, Let, let's let's see. It might be a technical one. We have one earlier. But I'm assuming. Let's just assume that it's a tactical pause. But one thing to point out here as well, like Mervit, you know, he's slowed down, maybe he hasn't had the Mac 10 enough in the last few rounds, I reckon. But, yeah. But, like, the fun bit about casting at this time is that I've been drinking a lot of energy drinks to, to obviously stay awake. I feel pretty awake right now, though. But, the problem with that that you really need a pee. So it'd be nice if they could tell me, they'd just be like, all right, so this pause is gonna be for, for a solid two minutes. I'd be like, yep, I can just quickly go. I'd be all G. Some nice, solid knife animation coming out of Logan. I mean, it's pretty good. But anyway, we are going to be getting back into this one. Round number 13 here, ladies and gentlemen, as we are going to be watching Logan. But I'm pressing the M button, so hopefully, maybe he's about to do something cool, but I don't know. We're going to see some nades going down mid. Not going to do any damage to the enemy team, but we're going to be seeing them grouping up towards mid. And Tonu, potentially this nade could do work, and it does! That's a huge nade! Jeez, I can't even be bothered adding that up, but that's over a hundred easily. Huge nade coming out from him. Dan is actually killing Fathom, so not the right team there. They're able to find one, they get a second, now Spitty actually is going to be able to pick up this AWP, so now this round gets a bit tricky for them. But XMS, you know, he's got the rifle, obviously. Aim punch is going to be a factor here, Spitty missing his shot. He might be able to catch XMS off guard, but XMS winning out that duel, obviously having a bit of an advantage there. And that is going to be a seventh round on the board for LDLC. And this, you know, they want to be getting to nine here. I mean, Sprout six rounds on the T side, they're going to be happy with that already. But anything more that they can get on the board here is really a bonus. Bonus stocks. Bonus stocks. But anyhow, popping into this one, we're going to be seeing a boost coming out there, but couldn't quite land the jump the first time, eventually got on his head, and now they opt to get out of there because they realised that they couldn't couldn't quite get the boost going properly there, they were a bit uncoordinated, fat fingers, yeah, I don't know. But anyhow, we're going to be seeing, you know, Sprout, they've got control of Banana, and now they're going to be going towards B, but Matt Hen, oh, only able to find one there as he gets traded back straight away, Molotov, good time in there, but Mervit, got to be able to get a kill on that, on the lurk there, as we do see the rest of the T's coming in towards this B bomb site. The bomb is staying back because Mervit, you know, he's got the AWP, He's got potential information here. Oh, Faven! What a, what a fathomable shot. I don't even know if that's a word, but we just made it up. But now it's just going to be left with XMS in a 1 versus 3 situation, ladies and gentlemen. And you think he's just going to be going for the save. I've got, like... Some of those, some of these shots are just crazy. I mean, Merbit, you know, hits that one. I mean, a bit of a sitter. 
I mean, come, come on, I, I could hit that, but, you know, still, doing his job, 20 kills, I'll probably be like, I'm zero kills still. But anyhow, we are going to be seeing LDLC, you know, obviously forcing up last round. They've got the double AWP. Few guns across the board, and look at that. Matt Hen getting destroyed. Even got the tag onto Logan there. Bit of collateral damage, but Speedy just walking out mid, just, just clicking on Tonu. Like, he's like, you know what? Let him in. You, you, you know, we got a kill already. Let's just do another one. I'm just gonna walk out mid, just click on his head. But David Duvek manages to get one back, only takes six points of damage there. He's gonna be able to retrieve an AK-47 as the rest of the T's make their way towards middle. And now this is the interesting bit because you know now he's got the AK. They've all got rifles. He's gonna line them up, get a nice tag on the speed. He only gets one as Dennis does trade him back. But now. 2v3, it comes down to Logan, he hits one, can't hit the second, now this nade, if he, if he puts it in the right spot, which he doesn't, it could have potentially stopped the bomb, made that round interesting, but this is still interesting, we've got one man on 15, one man on 10, we've got opposites here, the low man with the rifle, the high man with the rifle, on the other team. But let's see how they're going to be able to approach this retake. Will they be able to do it? No kit in hand at the moment. XMS does take him down. Didn't even need the headshot there, but he's able to hit it as it serves and left in this 1v2. We've seen him do it before, but will he do it again? Hits the first flick onto Logan, and now it's just a 1v1. XMS, he doesn't have time. You know, he's just going to run straight at him and die. And that is an eighth round on the board for Sprout there as they... You know, pretty good stuff from them. I mean, obviously, terrorist sided, like CT sided map, excuse me, and eight rounds on the board. That's pretty, pretty spectacular. Like,. I mean, I'm sure LDLC, you know, they've still got 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 it in there. I'm sure they've got a, a solid T side. I mean, I had to being being a Renegades fan, um, I got to experience a bit of that on Overpass at Intel Extreme Masters Chicago on Overpass when I think Renegades had a 13-2 T side. I think. It, it it was the same for LDLC. It might be a bit off. I think it went to overtime, if I remember correctly. Renegades. I don't even remember if they won the map in the end, but it it was something special. But I mean, obviously Inferno, completely different map, completely different teams here. But you never know. Still might have some relevancy here. But we are going to be heading into the pist around second half here, ladies and gentlemen. Sprout GG versus LDLC Gaming. As we do see Sersen going for that contestion towards middle, but he's just going to get completely destroyed. You know, obviously thinks he has the USP advantage there, but Dennis coming out of apps here. Is it going to be able to take down XMS? Can't quite get the man on the cross there. But he is going to be able to pick up that Molotov. But we are seeing the T's making their way through the CT spawn. There's two players there, but Spitty finds the first, finds the second, and even gets the third to top it off. And Merbert, you know, puts the icing on the cake, puts the chair on the top, and that is a sprout pistol round, ladies and gentlemen. I need to stop saying, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, I think I, I, I don't know. Someone needs to, to make a make a compilation of me just saying, "Ladies and gentlemen," like the whole time. Dude, it was a spray with the USB, but I mean, it still got the job done. Nade going, not doing as much damage as the fort, but still a decent amount there. But they're just gonna be mopping up these kills, getting getting some nice bank there. Ooh, almost getting getting the Kobe there. That would have been a pretty pretty hot shot there. And Favin finding one of his own as well. 
Fiddy needs to, yeah, they're, they're trying, trying to get the teammates here, and that's what they do. One kill apiece. SMG, SMG, SMG. Oh, fuck. Oh, they all got the kill as well. And the M4. So I lied. I lied. But they got a team ace, and that's what matters. Because team aces are everything. But anyhow, we are going to be seeing aggression coming out of the CTs. You know, obviously they're going for a bit of a bonus round here. LDLC, they've got the buy. That nade doing a nice bit of damage to XMS. Bit to Matt Hens as well. Bit of nice, cheeky little nade there. But that early banana control is going to allow the rest of the LDLC side to get closer towards that A-bomb site. You know, they're playing more towards the arch. They're finally deciding to go in, but the nades, the flashes, the team of LDLC are making their way up banana. And Favin is going to be able to call that to his team. Molotov, good timing there. Matt Hind actually taking quite a bit of damage to it. And that mo dude, these Molotov. Murbert finding a frag there, Matt Hen not having a good day, just getting roasted. He is not a good marshmallow to eat right now, but Spitty up from the coffins. He rises from the dead as Favin gets another one as well. And now it is just XMS and Logan left alive in this 2v4 situation. And let's see if they're going to be able to find anything, but Serzin says no. Favin comes in, cleans up the last, and a lot of... SMG kills there as well. They're going to be able to upgrade to the AK-47s. And One thing to point out here. It's a scary prospect when you're up against a team on the CT site. They've got an AWP and they've got four AK-47s. That just shows how many people Sprout have been keeping alive here. But nice shot coming out of Sirs and finding the picking mid. Dennis is well. And now we see the players going to apps. Dennis with another nice headshot. Got to be able to shut down Endeavor Devek. And now it is just one man left alive here. Matt Hind. I'm excited for a 1v5 with the Deagle. I mean, I reckon he's got to do it. Because... I have a good, yeah, I, I'm sure I have good reasons, but... He's going to do it. I'm telling you now. This, this is the man that you need to watch. Because he can do cool stuff. And that was a lovely 1v5 coming out of Matt Hen. Yep. I was hoping the chickens maybe would get on his side there. Have a few chicken shenanigans there, but at the end of the day... One of the LDLC players coming along, killing the chicken. Gotta have some lovely KFC tonight. Wait, KFC is a world brand, right? Dude, that'd be really awkward if, if somehow there's no KFC over there. I'm assuming it is. But Fabin, one, two, three, four in a gun round so far. He just needs the one more to be able to find the ace. He's gonna be hunting for it. And Dennis is going to steal it from him because, you know, he needs the frags, you know. At the moment, you know. I mean, actually, like, he's still doing... Everyone in L um, Sprout are doing good, but... 13 to 7, though. This is pretty dominant stuff from Sprout. I mean, that nade going to do completely nothing there. I mean, it did 17 damage, so I mean, $300 for 17 damage, I don't know, what was it worth it? But, you know, obviously, you never know. Yeah, I'm, I'm, assu I'm assuming it is. I'd be a bit, a bit confused if it wasn't, but you never, you never know. They are the leading chicken franchise in the world. Emma Murbit finds a frag, and I mean, we've got the force fire coming out from the boys on LDLC, but so far, 
You know, Merbit is just mopping them up. Gets another. Well, Speedy and Dennis. Nice headshot there from Dennis. And we are gonna probably see a win. I mean, Xmas did get a dink there. I believe he shot him through the wall. I mean, that's the only way it would make sense. But Sprout, two rounds closer. Or another round closer. Two rounds away, I should say, from getting 16. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, I thought it would only be in, like, the more, like, English-speaking countries sort of thing. Well, I mean, everyone, everyone in Europe, most people would speak English anyway, but... I, I don't know, like... I had a point, but Serzin has a point as well. He just wants to go out. He wants to get frags, almost getting Matt Hen through the smoke as well. That would have been incredible, and he finds another, and he gets one more just to top it off. If I bought a KFC in Europe, would you guys go to it? I'd make a good KFC. But, ladies and gentle cars, we are seeing Sprout GG, you know, working their way up. They've got the match point, and this is, you know, LDLC, they're going to have to get this, otherwise, it's going to be a tough one. And like the thing is, they're not going to have any easy rounds soon because look at the money on the Sprout side. 13, 14, 14, 14. The worst is 9k. But anyway, the, oh dude, this nade, this nade, this nade. Okay, I, I, thought, I thought it was going to be better. I probably hyped it too much, but Dennis dropping the bomb, taking down Tolanu, and you know, just removing the toe straight from the body there. You know, it was infected, he took it down, he did the surgery, but Matt Hand managed to take off speed again. But XMS finds another one of his own, and all of a sudden, this round is possible for LDLC. Dennis got to be able to catch XMS off guard there as they have made their way into this a B bomb site and Devil Direct has done the same on the A bomb site so I was correct but I still would have said the wrong thing that my brain was thinking and Logan able to shut down Dennis and it looks like LDLC are going to be able to at least fight for one round longer. I mean, Favin did find another one, but... Ah, ah, hmm. Alrighty, so... We're gonna obviously be seeing the buy coming in from both teams. You know, Sprout, still pretty rich here. They're, they're a powerhouse here. You know, only... I don't even know what I was going to say, but... You know, both teams contesting for this banana. So is going to be peaking for AWP. <gasps> what a shot from Logan, but... It was actually Favin, excuse me, towards that side. Now, this puts it in a 4v4. I'm going to be favouring the T side, but Matt Hand is going to be getting ready to smoke, so put some nades towards the banana slash B side of the map, and then probably get the bomb, then go somewhere, probably give it to his team, post it off there, but it actually looks like his team is going to come back, and this this makes more sense to me. As Now, the nades, the smokes, the flashes, they're going to be going in as it is one man, Favin, will he be able to find these frags? He does need to step up here for his team. He finds the first one, backs off into construction. As the rest of the T's are going to be making their way into the site. Smoke goes down. Will he be able to get the wall bang here? Just a little bit too high, but 
4v3 retake, this obviously should favour the T-side of Sersen. It does extend that advantage as well. And ladies and gentlemen, is this the round that Sprout need to get? Oh, Favin missing a shot there. That's crucial. They are running down the clock, but it's just one man. XMS left alive. Gets taken down by Favin, and that is going to be Sprout GG winning this game. 16 to 8. And that's a really, really, really dominant performance coming out from them. I mean... Uh, it's just really dominant. Really, really dominant. But do stick with us, though.